Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Earlier this year, I made a 2018 language goals video. And as the year went on, my goals changed a lot and they kind of fell apart. For 2019, I want to do things a little differently. I have two long-term goals and a few short-term ones that I hope will help me reach those long-term ones. For starters, my first long-term goal is to reach advanced high in speaking in Spanish and intermediate low level in Japanese on the OPI. If you don't know what the OPI is, it's just a speaking test that you can take in multiple languages and the scores range from novice low all the way up to distinguished. Now earlier this year, I did say I wanted to get advanced low, I believe, in Spanish, and I haven't taken the OPI yet, but I did schedule my test. I'm taking it in early January. Not too confident that I'll get advanced low, but regardless, my goal for 2019 is still to get advanced high, no matter what I get in 2018 on my test. So, one of my biggest issues I feel with 2018 was I kept on putting off practicing and preparing for the OPI because I thought I'm not taking it till late December, early January. I have plenty of time to prepare for this exam. But I told myself that month after month and now it's December and I totally do not feel ready at all. So. For 2019, I plan on taking the Spanish and Japanese OPI halfway through the year. I'll take the Spanish one first, and then a month later take the Japanese one. And doing it that way, I'm hoping I'm forcing myself to practice more early on because I'll have a shorter amount of time to get ready for the test. And if I don't do well on it in around May or June, I'll just take it again towards the end of the year but I think it'll be really good for me to kind of force myself to take it earlier on just to really see where I'm at and to hopefully force myself to study more. Now, to help me with those long-term goals, I have a few short-term ones. For Spanish, I have a really big issue with the past tenses and subjunctive. I use them when I speak Spanish, however, I'm often very unconfident when I'm using them. So I second guess myself, it makes me speak a lot slower, and if I'm not thinking about which form to use, I just say it and it'll be wrong sometimes, and that'll totally discourage me from speaking. So for the entire month of January, since I'm on winter break anyways, I want to find study material to just really learn how to use the past tenses and the subjunctive. Then once February gets here, I plan on putting what I learned into practice by actually speaking with my friends that speak Spanish because well, what's the point of studying something and then not using it when I'm trying to prepare for a speaking test? For Japanese, I have a really hard time with listening. When it comes to Spanish, I feel like I can understand a lot more than I can say. But for Japanese, I feel like I can say a lot more than I can understand. So I want to find a lot of Japanese audio that has the Japanese and English transcripts so that I can follow along with the Japanese and then check my understanding with the English. I won't do that the whole time I'm preparing for listening, but I think at the beginning that'll just really help me. And I think Genki is a good start to that because for the Genki books, every chapter starts off with some kind of dialogue and it has the Japanese on top and then the English translation. But they're really short, so I want to find some longer audio samples that I can use eventually. My second issue with Japanese is vocabulary. I can typically understand grammar, but if I don't know the vocabulary, the grammar is not really helping me out very much. So I have the Genki vocabulary app on my phone that I plan on using. I want to get through all 23 um, vocabulary lessons. I guess 24 if you include the greetings. And I want to try to read more manga in Japanese to pick up vocabulary that way. 
On another note, I plan on uploading a lot more videos in 2019 so that I can share more of my language journey, which is what I really want to do. I want to share my language journey with other people because I know I personally really like watching those kind of videos. So if you want to see how I do with my 2019 language goals, feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching.